All right, we are off. This is the Minish Cap Async number one for the month of March uh, 2023. If you're unfamiliar with what Asyncs are, they are random seeds that are generated by someone in the community. And then the settings remain a mystery. So you don't know what you're getting into. It uh, looks like we already have all keys. So it's probably a keysy setting. Um, we have five wind, uh, wind tribe, cloud tops, kinstones. So those are already opened up. We have maps and compasses. Obscure spots. Pots are on. Let me see if uh, we're on Merchant's there. Merchant is not there. You gotta like think about like every little thing that could possibly be on at this point. Ocarina. Okay. Early Ocarina is interesting because we may have open wind crests. Could that that could open up a lot of different things. Let's see. Tingle trees are closed. That's closed. A lot of the fusions are closed, it looks like. Let me check. Uh... Okay, that is closed. But we're going to go ahead and check the, the pedestal. This is one of the things that you do in async seeds is you actually go ahead and see what our pedestal requirements are. Yeah, this was a, a fun game to play as a kid. Definitely one of the easier Zeldas. Focus power in your blade. Oh, it doesn't actually tell us anymore? That's interesting. It used to, to tell you what uh, the requirements were, but those are not there. So we're gonna have to figure that out on our own. Alright, only the regular one is there. Okay. So that's closed. Everything's looking pretty closed. Uh, pots are on, so we can go here and go to Lon Lon. We do know pots are on. So far, everything else looks off for the most part.
Yeah, we're just not finding anything, are we? So I think we're looking at red fusions off, blue fusions off, green fusions off. I think this is the only thing I can do right now, so let me just save just in case. But we'll probably end up home warping out of here. Bomb bag. Okay, never mind. We're not home warping out of here. We're gonna take the the circle. And Cane of Patchy. Okay. So Cane is going to let me get a few things. Bombs are going to let me get a few things. Uh, I'm assuming this is not there because, yeah, fusion's off. Ooh, I can reach... Yeah, I can reach North Minish Woods using Kane if I really wanted to. Oh, I have Tingle Trophy, don't I? Yeah, I could ting I could do Tingle already. Yeah, Beanstalk's not there. Nothing is around at all. This is definitely one of the more interesting starts I've seen. There's a book. I am a little curious about uh, potential. Dungeons that we have to do. Ooh, flippers. Okay. That changes things up a little bit. Because now I can get the North Minish Woods via Minish Woods. I'll buy it since there's really nothing else for me to spend money on right now. Oh, that's closed. That is closed again. I gotta remember what things are closed and what what isn't. Like, all fusion locations are basically closed right now. Lower Vale Falls is a thing. That is a thing we could do. There's a bottle. So between bottle flippers and bombs, we can do lower Krennel. Um, I 
We're gonna find out if rupees are on. Rupees are not on, okay. So rupees are off. Um, rupees off. We're gonna find out about underwater. Underwater's on. And then I'm gonna just jump right into uh, droplets here. As far as we know, dungeons are vanilla. Definitely still a possibility that dungeons entrances are shuffled. So we do have to keep that in mind. But I am going to check the waterfall here. We know rupees are not on. Oh, wait. Those are rupees. Yeah, those are rupees. Waterfalls are rupees, so... There's nothing there. Let's go... Let's go hit up a few, like, easy checks. You know, I'm kind of tempted to check dungeon entrance here just as to confirm but at the same time I don't want to go in there if it is deep wood because if it's deep wood I really can't do a ton there Oh, come on. Yeah, so let's not. Let's not do that. Instead, let's go... Let's go to town. There's a lot of things we can do in town. Uh, remember, fusions are off. Or fusions may be vanilla. That's a possibility, right? They might not j be off, we might just have to get kinstones for that. That's something I should keep in the back of my mind. Oh, sword! There we go.
and we get a spin attack, so that's looking vanilla. Get out of the way, please. Please get out of the way. Yo, what's up, Vulpine? Glad you can make it to a stream. So I'm thinking that uh, all scrolls might be vanilla. We're not going to be able to get too many scrolls if uh, things are are set to closed. Yo, what's up, Psycho? Uh, anything special? Uh, not so far. Mostly everything is closed off from me. Like, we haven't been able to do any fusions. Like, all fusions are closed, aside from golds we're looking at. And then... It also looks like... We, we have all keys. So it's keysy. And that's about all we've really determined. Other than... Rupees are off. Pots are on. Underwater is on. But most underwater is just rupees anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Ooh, is that a sword upgrade? That is the sword upgrade. Let's go see if that gives me Rockbreaker. If it gives me Rockbreaker, then it is guaranteed vanilla. It does give me Rockbreaker. Okay, so scrolls are vanilla. 100%. Yeah, the, o the only other underwater thing we can get is the underwater pot in droplets. Everything else is rupees. We already did the, the hard piece, which ended up being an arrow refill, I think. I can make it all the way. I can make it all the way to... To Cave of Flames. Oh yeah, the rupees. <laughs> See how good I am about remembering things? I just kind of go and then hope that <laughs> I get things that I need. Not even paying attention to what I'm grabbing. Yo, what's up, Myth? But yeah, I should be able to do Cape of Flames. Uh, let me see if that's an element or not. I haven't checked map yet. 
It is, okay. So no fortress, no palace. Assuming vanilla. We've only checked one entrance and it was vanilla so far, so I'm assuming vanilla. I mean, worst case, we just get the wind crest up here. And then we come back later. Ooh, I'm not gonna have enough bombs, alright. That might be an issue. Unless we get a bomb drop. Shield. Okay. That's actually really good. Because I can use the shield to, to get bombs. Thanks for the good luck. Appreciate it. Oh, Myth, one question. Uh, these A-Sinks are just regular seeds. They're not like the, the A-Sinks we used to have where the pedestal will tell you the requirements because I tried going to the pedestal and I it didn't say anything it's not like it yet okay So on top of having to figure out all the settings, we now have to figure out the pedestal requirements as well. <laughs> of course that was a bomb bag. <laughs> if only I had enough bombs the first time around. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Kaya? Thanks for the good luck. Yeah, I, I figured it's not, like, fully up-to-date. I figured it was just, like, generated seeds, not um, curated for mystery. The settings are a mystery. We don't know. We're trying to figure out what the settings are as we play. Rupees. Oh wait, no, that that was normally a harpies, so that was fine. I have to like remember what's normally rupees and what's normally other things. Cause we know for a fact that rupees are off. That's the one like major thing we know. Rupees are off, fusions are closed. And like all fusions are closed. Except for golds. Golds, we have Cloud Tops Kinstone, so.
Cloud Tops should be open as soon as we, we get access to it. I have 40 rupees, good. You're gonna take half my rupees. Alright, so I can say with confidence now that dungeons are vanilla. I feel like, I feel pretty confident about saying that. You, you provided the settings for them? Okay, so not like truly random. Not yet, at least. Yeah, I saw number two didn't generate. Oh wait, I have Rock Breaker. I have Rock Breaker. Oh, that's another thing we know. We know scrolls are vanilla. So I don't really need to get scrolls. Because most of the good ones are already closed off. I could go for down thrust potentially if I get cape. But that's really the only one that I want at this point. Wallet upgrade doesn't seem necessary. It's just a heart piece on uh, 600. We've already got six hearts. I don't think we're playing with like rip settings. Yeah, we're, de we're definitely not playing rip because we have a second bomb bag. So I'm not going to have, like, exactly 10 hearts for Waveblade, but we're not even going to bother with Waveblade anyway, because it's just a regular scroll. I don't even know what scroll Waveblade normally gives, but is it Beam? Not sure. Peril beam. Okay. I was on the right track. I, I knew it was like a beam. I wasn't sure if it was sword beam or peril beam. But yeah, we're not going for that. So there's absolutely no reason for me to get that wallet. And we already determined that Goron Merchant is not there. So that would be the only other reason to get wallets.
curious if this is generated with the uh, the new DHC requirement setting, where you automatically get like the boss key or a random item as soon as you hit requirements. Because that would really help not knowing the pedestal settings. Because then we'll know when the pedestal's available for us. But chances are we're going to need any number of swords and elements. So probably best idea is just do a couple element dungeons. See if we can maybe get like at least blue, maybe four sword. And then if we don't get like a random pop-up like that, then we'll probably want to just check the pedestal just in case. Just in case. Because with KZ, that means we already have DHC boss key. So then, that means if that setting is on, we'll just get a random item, I'm assuming. Yeah, cycle skip's not hard there. <laughs> the hard part is this cycle coming up. Getting all the, the chests and hitting the cycle going into Glee Rock. Oh, there we there goes the cycle. <laughs> That's it. Miss the chest, lose the cycle. Yo, what's up, Lada? Thanks for the good luck, appreciate it. Where do I want to go after this? We got what, boots? We got uh, bow. Um, I might consider going... Oh, Labari's closed, right? So, it would just be the other... The other two caves in Lake Hylia? That's a possibility. So this is an async, which is basically a race, but I'm not actually racing other people at the same time. The way it works is uh, the seed get posted in the Discord and people get to play it at their own leisure. 
and then just post their times when they finish. And the thing with asyncs, at least for Minish Cap, is all the settings are a mystery, so you're not going to know what you're getting into until you start playing. Uh, this set of asyncs is not truly random. These were just generated. But I think eventually they're trying to get back to true random where someone doesn't know what. Red Sword on Glee Rock. Got all of it. <laughs> like, we used to do asyncs all the time. We had monthly, like a sheet of monthly asyncs. It was like five per month. And there's our second book. We're already almost at Yolari. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think Home Warp after this. Home Warp... Would be faster than... Is homework faster than climbing down Cradle? That I'm not sure. Yeah, dungeons are vanilla. That that is one thing we've pretty much determined. It could just be that we're getting completely unlucky with our randomization. But chances are they're vanilla because we've gotten two vanilla dungeons so far. Uh, beanstalks are closed, so all the fusions are closed right now, so we're not going to do any fusion checks. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, there, there's, there's definitely a lot of things to catch up on. There's a lot of settings in this. As you can already see by the tracker, we have all keys, so all key doors are already opened. Um, Trying to think of like anything else that we've conclusively determined. Oh yeah, I realized Western Woods is kind of garbage with closed fusions. <laughs> uh, these are rupees, right? Yeah, those are all rupees. Okay, so with power bracelets, now I'm really thinking about Lake Hylia. But because I just got a bow, I'm really interested in doing a couple things here. There's Grip Ring. That does, like, absolutely nothing. <laughs> At least right now. Gets me like two checks on Krennel. Oh, plentiful? We've got plentiful on! 
because that's our second boots. Okay. Mitts? Now we're talking. Oh, we don't know if dig items are on. Graveyard key. Hmm. I need a blue sword. Give me a blue sword real quick so we can do the graveyard skip here before we find the other graveyard key. Another mitts that are mitts locked. Alright, this area is looking really solid in terms of items. Kind of want to keep it going. Oh, yeah. Fusions. <laughs> Those are all fusions. We don't have to do hiking. We just do the, the bow check. That's it. That's the only one we can do. Mushroom. All right, now we're gonna follow a few things. First of all, I don't know how digging squares are. We're gonna figure that out. Oh wait, I don't even need to equip the ocarina. Because ocarina's on select. I need to remember that that's a thing. Alright, second bottle. There's cape. Okay. So now we definitely go back to Lake. Like, Lake is definitely where we want to be. Oh, wait, actually, before I go there, before I go there, let me check digging spot. Uh, that is vanilla, I think. There's a shield here. Another bottle. Another bottle. Another ocarina. And now we're just getting lots of duplicates of things.
Oh, there's no beanstalk. Yeah, there's no beanstalk, so... I don't have to go out, right? After that, we're just done here. I guess Deepwood is a possibility, but then again, we don't have Lantern or Gushar. Oh, <laughs> okay. I guess we go to Deepwood then. Let's grab that gush jar, head to Deepwood. We'll do Deepwood. Oh, actually, you know what? I have a few more mist checks we can do here along the way to Deepwood. Another grip ring. A wallet. So I can easily just beat this dungeon and be out of here. But I'm probably going to take a little bit of time to at least explore it a little bit. Because I feel like this is probably a place that has items. Like another cape. If I can find a blue sword... That will help me immensely. Because actually I don't even need to do the graveyard duplicate because we have boots already. I do need the Lantern in order to beat uh, Royal Crypt. But that's going to be a really quick dungeon.
In fact, Lantern is the only thing preventing me from finishing all my dungeons right now. Well, Lantern and Blue Sword. <laughs> Okay, I'll take that. Yo, EMP, thanks for the good luck. That's a lantern. And I'm curious if the item suck thing is on. No, it's not. All right. But that's really big. <laughs> that is gigantic. So then we can go back and do droplets. And then after droplets, we'll probably... Oh, if I was on the wrong layer... So I could do it from here, then. Ah! Okay. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I figured... I just thought you wouldn't be able to go through walls like that. But I guess I learn how it works now, so I'll be able to use it next time. But that's really good to know that it, it is on as well. So now we can check, like, Figurine House and, like, some other places, potentially. Blue Sword. Okay. We may... We may be very close to go mode here. We just need four sword, really. Gus works through walls, boomerang doesn't. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Boomerang will bounce off a wall, but the gust jar. Uh, it already worked through walls anyway. Yeah, we did it in Fortress for that one pot. Alright, so I'll probably do Royal Crypt first, because it's real quick, uh, and then... Uh... Yeah, whatever. It's, it's... It's plentiful, so there's gotta be a sword, like, multiple swords anywhere. 
There's like seven swords in the pool in Plentiful, I think. So the odds of us, like, finding a four sword are pretty good. Somewhere. And I probably have to do these dungeons anyway, so I might as well. There it is! Okay, now we're just in go mode. Now we just need to figure out how many elements we need. I'm just gonna assume four. But it could be three. If it's three... That would be really nice. <laughs> There's another Gus Jar. Oh, have to change it. Yo, what's up, Xkeeper? Thanks for the good luck. I can just run to the back. I don't even have to do anything in here. I just have to fight this one fight. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check check pedestal because we don't know if it's three or four. If it's four, then I just have to do droplets. If it's three, then we're already in. Yeah, Royal Crypt's music is amazing. I love that dungeon theme. Alright, it looks like it's probably four then. So let's go straight to droplets. Oh, I didn't open up the... I didn't open that up? Didn't I go... 
I thought I went to Waveblade. I guess I didn't go all the way around. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're just flying through here. If only we had Red Warp. That would help so much. Uh, let me change it before I forget. Because otherwise I'll be like, why? What's up, Koopy? Thanks for the good luck. Been watching the whole bunch of YouTube content. Decided to finally say hi. Nice. Glad to see people uh, stopping by the streams after watching the YouTube runs. Another gain. So this wasn't too bad of a, a seed. Definitely having plentiful and uh, close fusions really sped things up a, a lot, I think. Because there wasn't too many things for us to have to worry about. The biggest thing was just not being able to figure out what the pedestal requirements are. So I wasted a little bit of time on that, just stopping by the pedestal to try and see. And then stopping by again just in case we were already done. It's also not a guarantee that we're going to have the requirements uh, item on as well. Where you get an item when, when you hit the requirements. So 
So we may hit the requirements and just have no idea. But it seemed like this was a fairly typical seed. You know, four sword, four element. No dungeon shuffle. And I think for the first async back, uh, this was probably a good idea for settings. You don't want to go too crazy on the first one. Because that might put a lot of people off from doing more. But at the same time, it's still something that people might not be used to. In, in like close fusions, close fusions, no rupees, keezy. And this had a really interesting start with like early ocarina. I was thinking maybe something with like wind crests open, but now it, it just meant we go to lake and go from there. Async three should be way more interesting. Okay. I'll definitely give that a go at some point. Hey, we got a good pattern. All right, so now we should have access to the pedestal. If we don't have access after four elements and four sword, I don't know.
There we go. And it's keysy, so we can just run straight to body. Assuming it's even DHC, it could just be pedestal finish. Did they ever fix pedestal finish? I know it was broken at one point. Guess we'll find out here. It is pedestal finish. Okay. So I guess it is fixed. <laughs> Yeah, that, w that wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm sure they're all pretty good. All the asyncs are always fun. Unless you have, like, really ridiculous one-hit KO nonsense, but it happens, you know? But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. I will definitely be trying out the remaining asyncs at some point uh until then thank you for watching and i will see you later